afternoon, everyone. How are you today? I'm fine or great? Great. 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 I know it's the end, okay. You feel tired. Okay, good. So today, you are going to study a very interesting lesson. Do you like interesting lessons? Yeah. Great. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to show you some pictures and try to tell you. The topic of the reading text will be about what? Can we start? Yeah. So let me show you the first one. So look at this picture. What do you see? Look at the picture. It's a yes. very good. So let me write here. Okay. So this is a forest. Forest. Repeat after me. Forest. forest. Example in Morocco. Give me a name of a forest. Ma'amora forest. Very good. Ma'amora. Repeat. Ma'amora forest. Ma'amora. Ma'amora forest. Repeat after me. Ma'amora forest. Who says Jama? Jama. Repeat Jama. Okay, what's your name? Asma. Repeat after me. What's your name? Uthman. Uthman. Okay, good. So you have to pronounce in an English way. Good. Look, so a forest is a land, a place full of what? Full of trees, okay? So a land full of or with many trees. Good. Forest is a verb or a noun? It's a noun, okay. So forest is a noun. And, good. All right. In Iraq, we have Mamora forest. Globally, give me a name of a, a very famous, the biggest forest in the world. Amazon. The Amazon. Okay. Where? Brazil. In Brazil. Okay, good. All right. Now, the second picture. How many people are there? How many people? Can you count? Eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. One of them is it? Oh, it's tall, and the others are short. What do we call this in English? When a person is very short. A dwarf. Uh huh. Good. It's here. Uh, good. <laughs> Let me help you. It starts with P. Uh huh. Good. P. Big clap. Big clap. Thank you. Big clap. Big clap. <laughs> Do you know how to write it? I'm not sure. Yeah, we can help you. We can help you. So can you help him? It's P. Can you please write here? P. Uh, correct? No, Y. Y, thank you. Y. With uh -huh. With the? With the? Y. Pig me. Okay. okay. Give me the, the plural. What's the plural? Pigmies. So pigmies. I. Yes. Thank you. Nice. A verb or a noun? A noun. No. Okay. It's a noun. Pygmies. So a pygmy or pygmies are people are very short. Oh. Oh, okay. So let me write here. People who are very short. Okay. Like me? No. Less than me. So they are very, very short. Good. But look here. Can you guess where they live? Where? In Africa. Good. And we are also African. Yeah, we are also African. We live in Africa. Great. Let me show you the second. Again, there is a man maybe from Europe. Yeah. He's tall, but the others are? Oh. Okay, they are? Repeat after me, pygmies. Pygmies. Again? Pygmies. Again? Pygmies. Very good. Pygmies, okay. Now let me show you the next picture. This is fire. Repeat. Fire. Okay, can you write here? Fire. It's a noun, okay. Good. Fire. Cool. Oh my god, it's hot. hot. So, fire, we use it for what? 
Remember the past, the past, the past, we wouldn't use for work or for food. Thank you. The use is for food again. Give me an example of food. Something not to be? Yes, something Give me an example. Soup. Oh, but that is coming. What do you Oh my god. I'm crazy about Harira. Do you like Harira? Yeah. Uh, no? Oh my god. Yeah, Harira again. Okay. What do you like? Sua. Oh, okay, so in English. Okay, Sua again. Okay. What do you like? Pizza. Okay, pizza. Yummy. Mm. Italian pizza. Good. What do you like? Same pizza. Good. Same. <laughs> Easy answer. Okay. Same. Ah, uh, uh, cheese, Moroccan cheese. You know this one? Two? Yeah. Two poor Moroccan cheese. That's good. Fire. Wonderful. Now, the next one. Okay, good. Now, if you look at these pictures, number one, number two, number three. Now, I would like you with your partner to you guess what do you think the text will be about. I'm going to give you one minute. Yeah. Can you work in groups? One, two, three. Yeah, let's have this large group. Okay. Like a circle. Please you join them here. And you are the group, and you are there. Okay, perfect. Can you guess? Okay. 
So, how much time do you have for this exercise? How much time? Five. Are you which one in groups or alone? Alone. And after that, you share in groups. So, five minutes. Start. Read quickly and answer the question. One minute left. Time's up. Give me five. Give me five. All together. Five. Good. I would like to share your answers with the whole group. I'm going to give you two minutes. Share your answers with the whole group. Yes, please. So what do you think about number one, number two, and number three? He's working groups. Can you please 
right, number four? Thank you. Great. That's nice. Good. Now, I would like you to move on to the next exercise. Discussion. Check the true, yes, correct, the true statements about the pygmies and check your answers in a small group. Number one, can someone read the first one? Any volunteer, the first one, yes, please. The pygmies original country is linked to the Congo. The Congo. Number two, yes, please, another one. Yes, Good. Number three. Yes. Pygmies groups speak speak one language. Nice. And the last one, yeah. Pygmies <coughs> only describe life, hunting, and survival. Great. I'm going to give you five minutes, but now I would like you to read the text carefully and answer the questions in mm -hmm. group. How much time do you have? Five, five. five minutes. Yes, you start in groups. Can you speak? I'm listening to you and discuss. Yeah. Good. So what do you think about number one? Yes, please. 
songs that uh, the pygmies love the forest and their way of life. They are not rich, but they are happy. The forest gives them everything they need. Songs, dances, and stories are very important for the pygmies. They help them to live happily together. So what do you think? Yeah, it is also it's true. true. Okay, thank you. It's true. That's nice. Great. Now, I'm going to put you in groups again. Okay. And I would like you to draw. You need to draw. Like this. <laughs> to draw a gift. You know a gift? Yes. Yeah. Okay. When you get a good mark, your teacher or your parents give you a gift, like a bicycle or a cake or money, etc. Now, I would like you in groups to draw a gift. To give it to who? Pygmy. To the pygmy. So if you meet this pygmy, you can say, this is your gift. But you explain why this gift is important for a pygmy who lives in the forest. Oh, so the gift should be about where they live. Clear so far? Yes. I'm going to give you now 10 minutes to draw and explain together. Okay. So think about which gift. One, yeah, together, in groups again. Okay, and this is the sub. sub. So what is inside? Thank you. That's great. Yeah. Very brilliant 
I mean ideas about coming up with the gaps. The group, yes please. <laughs> so look here. So uh, we chose for the color, the pygmies. Can you guess? Give me all this. What do you think? Bed. Bed. Where they sleep. Uh huh. Others, can you guess? The food. Food out? No. Oh, electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you. 